Hello and welcome back to my channel, Simshine. First of all, happy Halloween! I hope you're having a fun, spooky day today, whatever way that might be this year. So we're back in the final part of my build for Ivy Thorn House. Today I am finishing off the build, so I'm mainly decorating the inside and the basement too. Because I had the freedom in this build to use all objects items, I did get distracted a lot by many of the debug items, so I have had to massively cut down the recording of this build. Because the kitchen did not need a load of modern appliances in it, you know, your dishwashers, your microwaves, all the rest of it, uh, this really allowed me a lot of space in the kitchen, uh, and I soon realised I could just, you know, have the kitchen and dining room as one, really. I wasn't originally sure of making it all one room, but just, you know, that's how it went in the end, I suppose. Um, I suppose usually, like, I'm so used to be building much bigger houses with bigger rooms, and obviously they have the luxury of the space for a separate kitchen and dining room. Having built the outside of the house, my difficulty now was again fitting in all of the rooms and knowing what to put where at times was not easy. The one thing I realised as I was building was that I was going to make the house completely usable off the grid. I'm not sure how long ago it was when the family that lived here, the Lawrence family, uh, who were living here mysteriously disappeared, but I wanted to give the impression that that was now some time ago. All the light sources are candles, all the appliances in the kitchen are functional as off the grid, so is the plumbing in the bathroom. I really enjoyed being able to use on this build was the items from the nifty knitting pack, particularly the rocking chair felt really fitting in the living room and the rugs gave the house that sort of old feel too, maybe they're handmade, I don't know, uh, but I just I really loved having them incorporated in this build.
As I'd very roughly based this design off a few photos of an old Tudor style of houses from quick image searches on the internet, the placement of the chimneys then became a bit of a problem, which I realised. Uh, so this meant a fair bit of tweaking room layouts to add the chimneys and five lasers with them. <laughs> I absolutely love these cobwebs and cracks and holes. Um, I really do think they give a really nice realistic feel to this build and any build that isn't a you know really polished up house really. So I, I loved using these for this. So when it came to the basement, I knew this property should have one, but then I didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, so I made it much smaller and covered it with random but slightly eerie clutter in there, just to add to the story of the disappearance of the Lawrence family. It's up to you to decide what exactly happened down there, or anywhere in the house for that.
So, the finished house is completely functional off the grid, has creepy crawlies and is haunted. <laughs> the, the traits for this house. Here is a quick tour of the finished house, photos of each room. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you would like to download this build or any of the other builds that I've previously made on this channel, you can download them from my gallery in The Sims 4. My gallery ID is Charlie Simshine. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween! <laughs>